thromboelastograph has become a popular monitoring device for hemostasis and transfusion management in major surgeries. TEG is a real-time analyzer of whole blood that can quickly provide patient results to allow faster treatment and decision making. TEG is a non-invasive test that measures the ability of whole blood to form a clot and reduce the use of unnecessary blood products. It also distinguishes between surgical and coagulopathic bleeding. Thrombolistograph measures the dynamic of the clot development, stabilization and dissolution. How do we interpret TEG? There are five parameters to look into it. Number one is R time or the reaction time. The next one is K time. The third one is alpha angle or the clot kinetics. The fourth one is MA, the maximum amplitude. Fifth one is LY30. So we'll start off with R time. R time indicates the time from the start of the test until the clot formation. If the R time prolonged, this could be a deficiency in coagulation factor replaced with FFP. This needs to be compared with citrated kaolin and citrated kaolin heparin test. This will indicate if there is any heparin effect in the blood. If the R time is prolonged in citrated kaolin sample, normal in citrated kaolin heparinase sample. This indicates there is a residual heparin left in the patient circulation. This should be treated with protamine. Second one is K time. The K value is a time from the end of the R time until the clot reaches 20 millimeter and this represents the speed of clot formation. This will be depend on the fibrinogen. Third one is alpha angle. Alpha angle is a slope of the tech tracing drawn between the R and the K value. It reflects the speed of fibrin accumulation. Fourth one is MA, that's maximal amplitude. MA measures maximal clot strength and is equal to the maximal width of the tech. This represents clot strength as determined by platelet number and function as well as fibrin cross-link to form a stable clot. The fifth one is LY30. LY30 is a lysis after 30 minutes after MA. It's an amplitude reduction after 30 minutes after MA. Measures fibrinolysis. If it's high, it should be treated with transamic acid.